Yeah, let's not do that. I've just asked Adam how you say yo in French. And he said, bonjour, je m'appelle Nick. It's not that. Anyway, hello, Nick, Adam. We're at, we're doing a fusible change. We are at a subscriber's house who found me on YouTube and I only live half a mile away. Yeah. Uh, this is the nice posh part of Stafford, it's nice. Um, but first of all, before I go into it, um, want all of you guys that watch the channel just pay attention to the next bit because it's quite important um so gary which is up here and vienna his daughter so gary runs the youtube channel at gsh electrical uh, over 50,000 subs he was a lecturer and a teacher at tresham college teaching amazing things to electrical students uh, when we went to visit a few videos have gone out from adam and i there adam and i and one of the loveliest blokes i've ever met uh, very knowledgeable, cares so much about the students. He now does stuff with eFix and the eFix channel. Well, his daughter Vienna had a trampoline accident early on last year, wasn't it? Yeah. And unfortunately, she lost um, the, her lower arm uh, because of the accident. And she was a fantastic gymnast at the time. And so she had to have uh, her lower arm amputated and obviously go through a lot of treatment. Very brave, beautiful young girl, smiley all the time. Um, but she's actually having one of these new robotic arms. Is it Hero? hero yeah, arm yeah. and um which is very expensive and you can get different skins for it and whatnot so it's going in the process now but what i'm going to do i've already rang and spoke to a lot of my sponsors to try and get some money money out of them some money out of them um but i'm going to put a, a i think it's a go for me page i'll just give them a page below i'm going to put in there 150 pound myself um even for you guys watching just one pound one pound each, that's all I ask. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that money can go towards uh, getting new skins or different types of arms and everything like that for her and help with the physio and progression. And yeah, I think it'd be a really nice thing to do. So please dig deep guys and um, I would really appreciate it and she would as well. Right, so back to the job in hand. Fuse board is up there. Loads of junction boxes are up there. So this is nice to see. I actually had some stickers printed like this. I've never used one, have I? No. Because by the time you've tested the board, well, changed the board, tested the board, put it on your iPad, tidied up and whatnot, the last thing you want to do is then get a pen and paper out. If we could do some sort of digital copy where I could print it off my iPad screen as a sticker and stick it on, fantastic. But I don't have the neatest handwriting in the world. You definitely don't. No. So, but anyway, this is nice to see. Adam's getting his GoPro out. So, your video today is, was your idea actually. Yeah. Gaz from, so I did um, EGT with Gaz and. Um, Mark and Sam last night and I said to him that you wanted to do a video on the apprentice side of me changing the fuse board because either you're doing the fuse board tomorrow you're doing your own Adam's competent doing his own boards but I'm going to do this one today and Adam's going to do a video on what he as an apprentice what he can do to help me do this quicker so passing things thinking two steps ahead um that sort of thing so go and watch Adam's video after mine because obviously you'll watch mine first <laughs> for now it's not going to be long mate so we're gonna go around, test a few things, uh, figure out what the junction box is in. Uh, we've got RCBOs and RCDs on everything anyway, so we, we're pretty much sure that it's not gonna trip. Drop it down a little bit, disconnect from the Henley block, we'll disconnect from the meter, took some new flexi tails in, which are, they were there, oh. there. Oh, they're in a packet. No, 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 they're not. Thank you very much, Expert Electrical, which you can see here. Use code Bundy10 for 10% off. All your electrical goods. Anyway, so uh, yeah, let's get a few tests out. We've got our testers calibrated yesterday, and yours. Adam's got some new leads, so he's happy about that. He was so excited to have a go with today, mate. Yeah. Oh, where are they? Where are my leads? Where are my new leads? Where are they? I want to both my eyes. Adam, wait till we get to the job, mate. Wait. Too keen. So uh, yeah, we're back in a minute, and uh, we'll start dropping the board off. So as usual, I'm not going to go around, because we've done this loads of times now with testing. Adam's going to go around with the walkie-talkies. I'm going to turn stuff off. We're going to figure out what's what. We can go off the schedule, roughly, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll put the buzz bar cover back on. I was just having a look at the connection, but look at that on the live. Oh dear. Barely dear. been put in all these years. And then obviously someone's decided to piggyback off that as well, but. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, you go have fun. Yeah. And I will talk to you. Let's press. Oh dear, oh dear. Can we call you mom? So what we're doing, because this board is a bit of a mess, there's a bit of stuff everywhere, I'm just cable flagging stuff up, as and when we're doing each circuit and writing it down, R1, R2. Get an insulation resistance on that now, but it's not, I think it's going to be fine because it runs to that, <laughs> and then to over there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the method that we're using. We're just going to do sockets now in the house. Right, so we've got the main results as we wanted to get. 
written down. Cables have been taken out. That's that, that. Put this out the way. One thing as well, power bank. Customer had a nice little LED. Unfortunately, this one's seen better days. But it just saves me chasing wasting the batteries on all the uni lights. Gonna rip all this out. Oh, yeah, and uh, what's my way? No, I was just saying there were uni lights in there. Yeah, no, you just left it on yeah. upside down in that corner, right? Thank you. On still, yeah. <laughs> just gonna rip it off and uh, then we're gonna see what slack we've got and then what leads to all this and why. All right, we're just in the process of ripping the board out and this here, oh, this, this. You know what this looks like, Adam? I don't know, go on. Looks like it's gonna be a copper ingot at some point, so <laughs> I think. Yeah, I'm just saying to Adam, there's two 16 mils, two 10 mils, they don't even look like 10 mils, they're all like 16 mils. That one's to the gas there, one goes down there, one goes through the wall. This little one here runs to the bath because for some reason, it's a jacuzzi bath, right? So it goes to a motor underneath. But luckily, otherwise, I'd have never even thought about checking it. There's a, 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 a I think it's a, where is it? Where's the bath cable? Bath, bath, bath. Do you like can probably see it? I can't. Oh, I've already ripped it out, that's why. Yeah, one, one five, but that goes straight out the wall, up the wall, back in the house, straight under the bath into a juncture box, which then leads into the flex for the jacuzzi bath motor. So I'm not too happy with that, but then obviously that runs with it to earth it, but I'm gonna pull it out and have a word with the customer because by the looks of it, I don't think it's gonna work, but on top of it, I don't think that's gonna be the safest course of life. This running it, but I would expect a few spurs to spur it down to three amp really, not sat on a six amp breaker. But uh, we've got a couple old style Wagos in there. People just extended a few earths on. Um, but nothing untoward at the moment. It's come out quite easy. It's just a lot of these. So Adam and I just had a, a, a chat for about 20, 20 minutes about what we want to do, really. So the theory is I've dropped boards down before. And we've always put them in a the plastic enclosure. I got a lot of comments about it while we're regarding the plastic thing. So why does regulation say you need to fit a metal consumer unit for fire rating, but then on that we can use plastic trunking and then a plastic adaptable box? When in theory, the extending all the cables, because I've bought the DIN rail connectors, which I'm not going to use today. It's just too awkward and faffy. So we're going to use some ideal splice lines to feed it through. Um, but with then the amount of connections, you, you'll have the same amount, if not more connections up top in a plastic enclosure, drop down to the metal board. So if you have a loose connection up top and that heats up and then it heats the plastic up, that will then melt and set on fire. So I get the theory, but regulation states it's just the fuse board that has to be metal, not the other stuff. But I took everyone's word of advice. I want to do try some other stuff. That's the whole purpose of the, doing YouTube stuff. So I bought some metal enclosures. So where the cables come out, obviously we've got a bunch of grapes hanging down here which we want to get rid of. In theory, in theory, if this is left open, we can screw them back and they will be fine. But we want to extend the cables down. So we're going to put this enclosure and that'll actually fit really well up there. Even though the customer said he's not going to screw a thing on. If we use maintenance free joints, which they are, you're allowed to have them hidden. We've actually not got any stuff in gland, so the only way around that we're going to go and get some. We were thinking about putting some 20 mil open grommets in but then you know and putting fire sealant on it but that's not really the done thing these are the fire grommet things that you can put in but i can only really feed one cable through that and we've got more than one cable there so i'm gonna knock all these out go and get some stuffing glands put the whisker inserts into the stuffing glands for tea and e pull this off the joist this is going to have another adaptive box up there which will be the little one here we'll then drill these through once they've been extended then we're going to come down to some plastic trunking. I'm happy with being plastic trunking because there's going to be no joints in it and it's coming off a metal box and then a metal box in between should be fine. It'll be fire sealed both ends so there'll be no flames or anything if anything ever happened of it traveling through. So we're going to have to leave here, go and get some whisker gland, uh, yeah, whisker stuffing glands for the inserts and extend that through. So we'll be back. Bye for now. In seconds. <laughs> He's printing, he's printing. Right, we didn't get a wholesaler, I've just rang my wholesaler up and said, I need four million stuffing glands, come to me immediately, please. 
and he is. I said, why are you going past my house? Can you just bring some? <laughs> Good. Um, excuse me, do some work. Can you just pick up, I've got a couple of parcels. Um, Velocity have sent me some tool bags to give a go. So we're going to uh, switch some stuff over, move the testing bag over, have a play. Anyway, so for the time being, I'm waiting for them. We're going to print all the labels off because if I'm going to extend stuff across, I might as well move these labels to the inside of this box in case everyone ever takes the lid off. And it's going to be easy for me to extend through. So I'm going to double up on each label. Adam's then going to start cutting some lengths of 2.5, one mil. One mil. That's really it, really. You get all the ideal connectors out yeah. and uh, some fire sealant and combi drill to drill through there. So yeah, it'll all come together. It's just right now that looks like a bit of a mess. Right, so that's on now. So what Adam's done, you'll, you'll see from his video, because obviously you've watched his first. We've cut nine lengths of two five, five lengths of one five or one mil, whatever it is. We screwed the box. Adam's prepped all the boxes up, the metal ones. We've got stuffing glands in one side. We've put the T and E flat ones in. Two stuffing glands, uh, sorry, two open grommets down the bottom. And the reason for that is the trunking is going to sit flush to this. That one, we're going to do one at a time. So this is uh, labelled up as sockets two. So what I've done with the label maker while we're waiting for the stuff to turn up, I've gone across, duplicated these, but I'll put a bit more detail on it. So the lighting one here, so master bedroom, utility, orangery, lighting down, lighting upstairs, outside light, garage, boiler, just so I can label it up in the board. Whatever oh. that was. Label it up in the board. On the connect on the actual joint itself bring that through into your connections down drop these through then relabel it as well at this side so in the end the cables that are going to come from here are going to go in there the cables from here we're going to put in the bigger box there they're going to pass through these joists here and then in theory the trunk in is going to be offset to here like this so we'll have the cables coming left hand side and right hand side i'll all droop in into the top of the board and we'll have to do some top entry Yep, Sadly. and then tidy up the earths. At some point, yeah. Adam's on about flexi conduit, so <laughs> no, we'll, no, we'll, no, no. we'll see. So this is where we're at. We're having great fun. My foot hurts, I'm standing sidewards. My shoulder aches. Adam's annoying me because he keeps talking to me. So, sockets two. It's what I mean about labeling it up individually. Oh dear, why is that one not labeled? It's the garage one. Have we got one garage label left? He's here that I've not put on. Oh, dangerous. So I'm not slacking. Labeling all that up. So obviously that doesn't look neat. We've done bends on it. We've pushed them out of the way. We can't really put a din rail in because it's too small. Plus there's two different boxes. Just go with it. We've labeled all the things up in there. This will actually be pushed up once it's supported. We're obviously going to work the back boxes as well. Once the board's on, I'm just going to run a 2.5. Um, earth link it onto there with a tag and then link it to the other one so that's earth to, its, to the board but yeah we're taping them together so we can keep them in line for now until we put the trunking down but that one's that adam's being a good little egg and stripping them taping them earthing them up and uh we're gonna jump to this one in a minute so that should be interesting because and it's raining and it's tipping it down oh ad can you just grab something from the van for me a second yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I just want everything out of the van if that's okay. Yeah. Cool, thank you, mate. Also, Nick cleaned the van. I'm going to clean, I've cleaned no, the van. No, that's what I mean, you clean the van. I clean the van, looks all shiny. Well, until you drive on the road and then there's a salt goes over it. So I've got it screwed up now. It's just super awkward. So we're just going to break it down circuit at a time in the stuffing glands. So these are our first ring here. So socket one. <laughs> oh. Socket one, socket one. Feed them over, untangle them. The ones with the least amount of length, Adam. Um, <laughs> we'll put in the top stuffing gland and vice versa and then we'll start linking them out. But we'll do one circuit at a time. So we'll do the ring one in and out, drop it down and just knock it through that way. I find that's much easier than trying to do all this and then attach afterwards. It'll just be a nightmare. Wish us luck. So that was absolute pain, wasn't it, Ad? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my touch is fine. Never mind. So, we've got them coming in. We've labelled them all up. Ensure connectors. That's laid picking out. And that's going to drop down. So, that's going to go into the trunk in here. And the board is just going to sit round about here. Sort of eye level with the bottom of this. A little bit more accessible, but not too close to get hit by any stuff on the worktop if it's going to be because used as a workbench. So, we want it too close. Um, yeah. How do you feel about doing that, Adam? With no swearing. 
Uh, a lot better in metal boxes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely securer. But I think if we were doing it on the wall here, absolutely fine. Mm. Do it up there, trying to stand on that, that, and that. And then this man starts leaning, trunking on your back because he wants to sweep up. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so next thing is we'll probably just try and get the board on. Uh, do what we've done before. Cut a hole across the top of the board. The cable entry. Oh, there's a workbench here. So that's going to. Ow, that was sharp. It's going to sit about there. So that it's going to come right there. So we might just notch these two out, multi tool across, back around, grommet strip in there, trunk in, sit flat to that and cover the front up. And uh, there's a guy, my power electrical. Just ask what, when you do a video next, I'll, I'll give you a shout once this goes up. But yeah, there's no point doing rear entry, really, is there? No. There's no point really putting it off the ball when we screw it straight onto the brickwork. So, And then from there, we can just do a tail gland at the bottom, straight to the isolator. Yeah, cool. I know. <laughs> Adam's just feeding them in, he's looping it up, using the, the three, three or four finger method, whatever it was. So you put your fingers out and then you bend it to the right length, looping it round, putting it in the tail clamp. Adam has opened up the two holes here, multi tooled it across, grommet stripped it in. I marked out, squared it up, trunking's on, board will sit flush to that. It'll allow the cables on the trunking to come left and these cables to come right. Top entry is then put the, uh, the gland in, which will end about here, and that'll be looped straight over to the meter. Got 60 mil earth. Um, these are all coming flapping across, so I don't quite know what to do with that yet, but because there's a lot of them, if I, have we got an earth block anywhere? Uh, I don't think we have, have we? No. This would be one of them situations where you could put a little earth block on the wall, feel them in, and then just bring the one cable across, or or the 16 mil into the board, and then a, a fly, fly of another 16 mil or a 10 mil off the earth block. But I'll see where we get there. It's just cable entry in the board. Might do some stuff and glands on the side. But Adam is. Get in there. Adam in there, he wants to put Flexicon on it. No, I'm not. Uh, do you want a job? He's on, he's square, he's there, he's here. He's got I'll see. Underwear. He's got. Excuse me. I'll see, we'll put some fire seal in that we've done before. The whole purpose of putting this on metal to conceal, to conceal the fire. Conceal? The right word? Contain. Contain, Contain the fire, Adam. Oh, shit. In the, the metal enclosure. So, next thing is, I'm going to bring down my normal RCBO spacings really. Start with your highest load, go down there. We've got the blanks. Where are they? The fuse box blanks the in the van. No, 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 no. The... No, I know what you mean. The old clipping ones. Yeah. Oh, no. Adam, that's going to be pages. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Till. Um, Till Electrical. He's from Stafford. Didn't realise you on Instagram. Uh, ran into me yesterday and he had some ferals the whole time didn't have any. Give me all these. Cheers, mate. Oh, Jason. So, blanks will just sit on there. Not that we're going to have many, to be honest, because the board's going to be quiet. So, I think we'll have one or two spare ways. Always good to leave a few spare ways. But, uh, yeah, we'll feed them down, feed them behind. Then it's the usual malarkey like you've seen before of me spending way too much time getting them nice and neat. Oh, dear, the power bank's gone flat. No! So unfortunately for you lot, Adam got his own way with the flexi conduit. No, 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 no. I tried guys, I really tried. He bent my arm backwards, so we had to go on with it. That's all in. We're gonna put six amps here, closest to the breaker. I know I've heard people talk before about you need the highest load to the, to the uh, incomer. Please let me know why, if that is the case. I'd love to know and uh, yeah, I can't understand quite why you would, but that's the way it's felt. Unfortunately, after Adam was measuring the cables up once again, uh, Adam's, he was just slacking, I think. He was, wasn't paying attention. Yeah, too, yeah. too much time playing with the Flexicon. That's it, mate. Make sure that goes in the van, not in your lap. Uh, these ones are short, even though it's a brand new board, which is very annoying, but it is what it is. So we're going to put six amps here, 20 amps, and then 32s. That's how we've spaced out. We put all the earths in that we need to, brought across. Main ones in as well, 16 mil. We just reused the one that was there. Tails are going last. So I'm just gonna pop the RCBOs in one by one and I'll, I'll report back once it's done and say, I've done that many videos of this. Probably don't need to see it anymore. All of this has now turned into this. I'm happy. 
it's not the neatest in the world, but I've had a, 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 I keep getting absolutely, you, you guys might get it, you put your hands in the air for too long, and like a massive, like, achy, hot pain in your, your, your shoulder. So, that's on. Adam's done earth these boxes out, we brought them in, that comes into here. We've still got to stick some stickers on the inside, but they're in now, I'm happy, we're going to talk that up, and then connect up the main tails. Adam's already tidied up mostly in here, we're just going to grab the... Fire sealant. Oh, what, sorry? Fire sealant. Yeah, well, fire sealant, yeah, Adam's just going to get the gun for this, sorry. And uh, we're going to cork that up, I'll just take this back off. And we can label the board up, do a few more tests that we need to do. Done. Do a few more tests that we need to do, and uh, jobs are good. I'm happy with it. It's uh, a challenging one, to say the least. Uh, but we've got there. We've got them enclosed. The metal, the metal, the metal. So yeah. Oh, oh he's gone now. He's gone. What about this one? Yes. Loads in it. Right. Let's see what we're doing. Up. Oh, stay on there. Right. I've got that on now. My new. So I was sick of the hard case for my label maker. Sick of it. So this one I purchased from Mikey Loadout Shop. Go check him out. Cartridges, right? So I just wanted something. I've got the charger in. I could put some pens in it and stick some tape in it and a few little screwdrivers because uh, I've got a couple of sets to keep this nice and neat out of the way. It does come with a big long strap as well, but I. Um, it does come with a big long strap, but I don't really need that, so I'm just going to keep that the unit, but cracking little bag. I'm guessing that's a few glasses. To be fair, you lot don't actually know, I'm actually meant to wear glasses, and I, the amount of paper I've been doing, or, or the Zoom calls, or stuff online editing videos, I put them on every now and then, and my headaches started coming about when I was driving, I was like, I need to wear them. And the first time I wore them, I then left them on the first job we went to, so they're still there, so brilliant. Anyway, not that you lot really wanted to know that. Uh, Adam, we've got everything on, everything's working, RCD trip time, ZE, PFCs, the works, everything's fine. Uh, Adam just wanted to double check because we got a bit of a high reading on ZS on upstairs lighting. He tested three different points, it was one point, it was a bit high, so he, he just wants to double check. Fair play to him. Uh, other than that guys, I think we're done. I won't say bye yet because obviously Adam is not here and he gets upset, but please do remember, check out the um, the link below, below for Gaz's daughter Vienna. Um, raise as much money as you can, even just a quid. And say I'm going to donate. I would have already donated by the time this is up, so I'll put it on the screen if I haven't already. I'll stick up here. I'm going to donate 150 quid. I'm going to get my sponsors to do it as well, and uh, anything would help. But please, please give because it's uh, it's a great cause, and I just want to stick a smile on her face and uh, help her get through it. Do you know I didn't even know there was a light there. Wow, look how bright it is, Adam. Um, yeah, we never got any footage towards the end. I, I, well, I, to be fair, no, I did. I did. I just said I can't say bye because you get upset. Remember when you said to me one time, Nick, don't you ever do that again. I was like, yeah, sorry, Adam. So anyway, uh, customer was lovely, really nice guy. So thank you very much. Steve, anything you want to add? We're just going to go straight in with it. Yeah, let's go straight in with it. Well, you're not going to say, come and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, come and subscribe to my channel as well. <laughs> May as well. Get amongst it. And get amongst that. it. Yeah, so anyway, see you soon. Bye. Bye.